So with each vlog I put out, I'm gonna make, um, you know what I'm saying? That'll be cool. I was thinking about it and I think I actually have a shot on my video of the map of the route we're supposed to take so I can look at that and you can see the hole um, but I think yeah we should just go out where we came and go left yeah because I pulled up my map that was um and I remember you saying we go near Prine or Pendleton but that was a whole different route. There's one that goes like basically east northeast, yeah, and just like straight there kind of. And then there's one that goes south and up, and there's one that goes north and over. And the one that goes through Pendleton goes north and over. So we'll just go that way. The is one it... that goes south is the longest route, and the one that goes to Pendleton is like the second longest one. Hmm. It's like an extra. I mean, I don't. I think it's only like an extra half hour though. We'll just, we'll just both keep an eye on our phones. And as soon as we get service, we'll try and pull it up. Yeah. So, and also when we get service, we should probably download the map of Oregon. You know? So. We should just go to a travel center and get a real one. Oh, yeah. breakfast should be colorful. They do? Mm-hmm. 
my bed. Mm. What's up? It's your breakfast. You know what, babe? You want to make breakfast next time? Wow. She kicks real hard. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat oranges. I don't know if that means she likes them or she doesn't. officially heading to the Wallawa Mountains. We don't even know if we're pronouncing that correctly, <laughs> but we're on the road. Everything's secure. We had an amazing time at this camping spot. It was way better than we imagined it would be. And we're really glad that we stopped and camped there. <laughs> you can hear all the mud stuck to the bus. We have a very long drive ahead of us. We have over eight hours, maybe nine possibly 10 if we get lost. We have no service. So we're just gonna wing it. We're gonna drive until we get service and hope that we're going the right way. So as we were driving to the Wallawa Mountains, we stopped and we had lunch at this little cute cafe. It was really, really good. And then we kept going and um, I started looking for hot springs between there and the Wallawa, the Wallawa Mountains. And we f came across this really cool little camping area. Their outdoor or their their actual soaking springs are closed until the spring, but they had these cute little yurts that you could rent that have private patios. And each patio, they one has like one big tub and the other one has two separate tubs. And so we opted to get a yurt. So we're gonna stay in a yurt tonight. Then we'll have a few more hours to drive tomorrow to our location. And so the yurt that we picked is the one with the two little tubs so that I can have a warm soak and Isaac can have a hot soak and it, they are outside and we just got here. So we're going to check it out. It's got this nice little pergola type thing. Here's key. This doesn't look that expensive to build, bro. That's just canvas. I don't know. I'm not looking to this. I think yours are really cool. This is probably one of the nicest I've ever stayed in. Okay. Wow. It's got a nice little couch, refrigerator, and coffee. Oh, wow. It's a whole. Like there's water right there. Drinking water, little fire pit area. Here's our shower. And so these are the soaking tubs I was talking about. So we each get our own little soaking tubs outside. They got the vibe lights going on. It's gonna be really cool. Isaac's inside finishing up his little tour video that he did of the yurt and I'm just getting packed so that I can bring some stuff inside and we can get some work done, get some videos uploaded. They have Wi-Fi here, yay. And then we're gonna finish the night by relaxing in those tubs, which are filled straight from the actual hot springs. So they are hot spring soaking tubs. I'm gonna let the 
the sunshine and the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking, the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold Good morning! We had such an amazing relaxing night last night uh, Isaac took some photos and then we just soaked in the tubs for like a, quite a while and it was super relaxing and then this morning we wanted to get some more photos so we're gonna go ahead and do another soak then we'll take showers and head out on the road it's super early my alarm hasn't gone off at 7 so I don't know what time it is I just know that it's like before 7 a.m. so it looks like it's a little foggy but I'm gonna go ahead and get the water going in the tubs because it takes a minute to fill up So we just got done doing a little bit of soaking. Isaac took some photos of me and then we soaked for a while. So before Isaac gets out, I'm gonna get snap some photos of him and then we'll be getting out and heading on our way to the Wallala Mountains. Gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back 